In 2022, 18-year-old Eileen Gu represented China in the Beijing Winter Olympics. Known for her biracial roots in America and in China, her decision to change national teams to ski for China was a surprise to many, especially since she represented the USA in past competitions. After she won two golds and one silver for China, her identity was further put under the microscope. Considering this event, an inquiry about China's acceptance of her, considering China's conservative past emerges, and thus an even broader inquiry. Has China become more accepting of mixed nationality otherness in the 21st century compared to the past? During the 2022 Winter Olympics, Eileen Gu rapidly gained Chinese citizens' support as she shocked the world, breaking records in Winter Olympics as she was the first in her discipline to medal three times at a single games. Following her bold, prideful announcement of changing national teams to be a face of China, garnering high prestige made her a positive figure for many Chinese citizens. After the 2022 Winter Olympics, it was claimed that Eileen is a hot commodity in China and just treated as Chinese by the media and many of her fans, even considering she is biracial. Signs of this can be seen in the billboard and magazine advertisements she's in for Chinese media. Moreover, Eileen's unique national and ethnic blend gave her values that many Chinese girls admire rather than criticize. A supporter said that in a world where many Chinese female stars use heavy filters to whiten their skin and go on strict diets to stay thin, Gu, like American teens, does not mind showing her tanned skin and acne. Eileen stated that physical strength makes her beautiful. Thus, because Gu's worldwide success and positive influence on others due to having cross-national cultural differences, she seems to garner aggregate support from Chinese citizens despite her having a mixed background. Going back to history, we can also see some examples with mixed nationalities. Emperors of Sui and Tang dynasties were both mixtures of Han people and Turkic animal herders of the steppe. They even have the ruling families that included people from diverse ethnic backgrounds and cultures. In this circumstance, the Zhu Han people didn't show any reluctance to be subject to them compared to the Qing dynasty. It seems that people just didn't care about their mixed ethnic differences. Additionally, under the Han and Xiong Nong Qing policy, the Han arranged the marriages between the princesses from the Han royal families and the leaders from the Xiong Nong tribes to foster family relations and establish a peaceful coexistence. In this example, the mixed nationalities are encouraged between the Han and the foreign ethnic others. However, does this mean that mixed nationalities have always been recognized throughout history? The answer seems to be negative. To some extent, this mixed nationalities remains controversial. After the 2022 Winter Olympics, Eilingu posted on Instagram, Thank you China for the unforgettable few months and for the endless love. From the comments, many people accused her of acting like a foreigner, calling her China's gratitude has a clear sense of distance because she didn't use motherland or my country to express her gratitude to China. Moreover, at press conferences, she responded to her citizenship. When I'm in China, I'm Chinese. When I'm in the US, I'm American. She represented China in the Olympics, but it seems that she never answered the question about her nationality head-on. Meanwhile, Chinese officials and state media have also carefully avoided questions about Ellen Gu's nationality, instead of emphasizing her Chinese heritage. In this case, her mixed nationalities became increasingly unacceptable, and some people in China were annoyed by the ambiguity of her nationality. One comment replied, her mixed nationalities didn't demonstrate a Chinese government's rule that everyone is equal before the law. About 15 years ago, Ding Hui, a Chinese African boy, was selected into the Chinese national volleyball team. Like Ailing Gu, Ding Hui was also an athlete with mixed nationalities, but his presence caused a huge debate about whether he was eligible to represent China with pure-blooded Chinese athletes. During that time, any divergence from the majority Han Chinese looks or actions would be discussed and doubted. Many people questioned his blood and family background issues. Ding Hui prepared to play at the 2012 London Olympics, but ultimately, for some reason, he was cut from the team. Generally, China has increased acceptance of mixed nationality others due to increased globalization, but exceptions do exist. 
Under these circumstances, it is important for parents with mixed nationality children to figure out how to raise them and give them a sense of belonging with their identities and cultures. Also, as the Chinese were exposed to many Western ideas since the Qing Dynasty, we need to think about the idea of race in terms of mixed nationality others. Ding Hui and Ai Lingu are both athletes who bring honor to the country, but one is part black while the other is part white, eliciting different reactions and acceptance level from Chinese citizens. Selective criticism of mixed nationality Chinese people also goes beyond sports into other disciplines. As Lo Jing, a Chinese African singer, was criticized that she shouldn't be an idol because of her mixed background and skin. The racial hierarchy introduced to China through Yan Fu's interpretation of Western social Darwinism placed minority races like the brown and black race below all others, positioning them in a socially disadvantaged place that still afflicts them today. This is another issue that can be investigated in studying how Chinese people accept people of mixed nationality over time.